put this off and put this off because I can't narrow it down to five things. I don't know how you guys are doing it. Seriously, how are you narrowing it down to five things? I can't possibly, but. So I'm gonna get started with this. And uh, the first thing I wanna show you, it's definitely not one thing. Um, last year I grew the Atomic Grape Tomatoes. Um, I'll put a picture in so you can see what they looked like. So this year I am growing seven wild boar tomato varieties. And I didn't know you could order directly from wild boar farms, but you can. And uh, I'm growing Amos Collie, which I'll be using for canning, Berkeley Tie Dye, which I'm pretty excited about, Dragon's Eye, Big Sun Gold Select, Indigo Apple, Blue Boar Berries. I think I saw that on Jess's channel, and they looked really yummy. And Napa Chardonnay. These are only seven varieties of probably 25 to 30 varieties of tomatoes that I have started, but I am super excited to see these. I really like color. I like colorful things, so I think these will be fabulous. Along the sh line of nightshades, I am growing several peppers, uh, lots of new to me peppers this year, and uh, I don't really like spicy peppers, but I still pick some out. A couple of peppers really intrigued me, and one of those was this Sugar Rush Peach Pepper. This is from Baker Creek, and it's supposed to be sweet and hot. Has a, it's a sweet tropical flavor and it brings a smoky complex heat. I don't know if I'll like this or not, but I think that I'm gonna mix a little bit in with some peach jam this summer and I think it'll be delicious over cream cheese with crackers. So kind of silly to buy a whole package of seeds for something like that, but it's something I wanted to try. Another pepper, since I said that uh, I couldn't pick just one variety, I picked also a sweet pepper to show you. This is the Violet Sparkle Pepper, also from Baker Creek. And this is a uh, sweet pepper. It says that it's wedge-shaped, streaked with pale yellow. And it's originally from Russia. I just like purple. Apparently a lot of homesteaders like purple because I hear that in a lot of these collaboration videos. Oh, it's purple, it's pretty. And it's not the only purple thing I have. <laughs> um, so I know a lot of people have probably seen these delicious looking radishes. These are from China. They are known as the green fruit radish. And they're from northern China, so I'm really excited about these. I really like jicama, and I'm thinking maybe it might be similar to jicama. Um, in north China where these are grown, they are used as a fresh fruit substitute. So I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, let's see, I've got more things <laughs> from Baker. Um, some greens that I'm excited about. So if you can call it a green. I got the uh, purple lady bok choy, which I have some of those started. I'll show you in a little while. And the thousand head kale. Also have some of these started, but they're not nearly as big as these are. So I'm excited about both of those greens. And uh, another thing that I've never, I've never grown this at all. Um, I've grown peppers, I've grown greens, I've grown tomatoes, but I have never grown ground cherries. And these are from In My Gardener. Um, you should check his channel out if you're not already watching it. His seeds are only 99 cents a pack, so you can get a lot of different kinds of seeds that you would normally be able to get maybe because they're only 99 cents a pack. Um, apparently these are pretty prolific and they're very sweet, so I'm looking forward to growing these. I think my kids will enjoy them too. And then I have a few seeds for my seed swap. I recently had a seed swap on Instagram, hashtag Providence Farm Seed Swap. And uh, I've got three varieties here that I'm, I'm really excited about. I had um, so many seeds and I'm excited about so many of them, but these in particular, I wanted to show you. I, maybe it's because she drew on her packages. Isn't that pretty? So this is from at here, Bliss Homestead, and this is Moon and Stars Watermelon, which I have a few watermelon varieties. My kids love watermelon. I love watermelon. And from Lunar Soul Farm, Canary Melons. More melons. Yummy, yummy. 
and from Home and Herbs, artichokes, green globe artichokes. I've never grown artichokes, ever, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've never even prepared a fresh artichoke, so that will be a whole new area that I will have to learn about this summer. So in the meantime, um, all of these things, except for the melons, have been started, and I'll show you some of my seedling updates in a minute. But I'm also getting ready to uh, start some herbs. So I have a tray here in front of me, and I'm gonna get these herbs started. And I've got so many herbs, and I'm hoping they do well. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with starting most of my herbs this year. I know that I have several varieties of basil, and they'll do fine. And, uh, you know, I have some borage, and I know it'll do fine. But there are some things like I haven't had any luck starting chamomile. And I'd really like to have some fresh chamomile this year, so I'm hoping that I can get some of those started. I also wanted to show you my organization for my seeds, which it's not all that organized right now. But recently a friend of mine showed me her seed collection and she uses a big binder and these baseball card sleeves. And so that's what I started doing. I'm hoping to reorganize these by seed family. They're sort of organized like that right now, but they still need some work. This is all like vegetable, melon type seeds. That one still needs thinned out. I may actually have to go to two binders for that. This one, flowers and herbs. So, and I actually have a lot of them pulled right now because I'm getting ready to start some. It works for me. It may not work for everyone, but I did want to share that. I picked up these sleeves on Amazon. I couldn't find them locally. All right, let's go check on some seedlings. Because I filled up the tray upstairs, we have this room in the, it's sort of like, we, we don't know what to call it, the back porch room. Decided this south facing window would be a good spot for some more of my transplants. So, and they need to be turned. I don't have grow lights for everything, unfortunately. Um, but I have some bunching onions and kale, and there's some lettuces and some spinach, and peppers and some tomatoes. Up here are some new starts. Down here are many tomatoes. Um, pineapple is my personal favorite kind of tomato. So far, I may like one of these four farm tomatoes even more. And then down here under one of these multi-spectrum grow lights are more tomatoes, which are getting too tall and I'm gonna have to readjust the lights. But I have lots of tomatoes. Over a hundred started tomatoes. Those will not all go in my garden. So here's the original shelving unit up in my everything room, as I've decided to now call it. Um, I have this space up here, I'll be sticking the trays that I'm working on now. And up beside that space, some dahlias. Pre-sprouted peppers on paper towels, and that's what all of these are. Some of these, the rest of those down there are tomatoes. Um, indigo rose, this is uh, a red tomato called Moses. Lenny and Grace's Kentucky Heirloom, Yellow Russian Oxheart Tomato, and I think these are, um, oh, that's Cherokee Purple, and this is Bum Sunrise Bumblebees, which I think looks so cute, so I'm hoping they will do well. And then I have some more lettuce, some Swiss chard, some spinach, more peppers. Like I said, I will not be planting all of these varieties. Um, I will put out what I can, but they won't all fit, so I will have extras available. So there's my sugar peach there, and these are violet sparkle. There's a corbachi in there, but it's not coming up. I'm not sure what happened to it. And then more Swiss chard. And remember me saying my herbs and flowers are not doing well? Yep, they're not doing well. Some of these are, most of them, not doing well. More lettuces, and at the end here, that's the purple lady. Right there. He's got a slight purple tint to it. The purple lady bok choy. And then I have more tomatoes. And guess what this is? 
Um, yeah, more tomatoes. They're not sprouting yet, but they should be coming along any day now. I don't see any baby sprouts yet, but I imagine probably tomorrow or the next day there will be lots of baby sprouts. Mimi, are you checking the buns? Are you checking baby buns, Mimi? <gasps> baby buns, Mimi. Is that your job? To check the baby bunnies? Yeah. Say hi, buns. I think that bunny wants to get out. <laughs>